today we're checking out some of the internet's wackiest products, but are they curiously awesome enough? Like this lollipop that plays music in your mouth? Or this strap? That helps you go number two. This is VAT19 Rejects. This product I feel like is an affront to morality. Okay. What? Real sugar cane toad full body purse. What's a full body purse? Oh, the full body of the of the toad, I guess. Oh God. <laughs> oh, he's got a hat on. The hat is kind of <laughs> cute. So wait, it's a purse that looks like a toad. So is it a real one? Yes, it's a real toad. Oh, oh no. no. They taxidermied <gasps> it put a little cowboy hat on it, and then turned it into like a coin purse. It's, oh. It now has a zipper on its body. They put a zipper on it? That's a horror movie. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. Oh, but it's kind of cool. What? It's kind of soft. The theory behind the product is it's this really invasive species. We capture them, and then we freeze them, so it's like a more humane death, and then we turn them into coin purses. It seems grotesque to have a zipper on, right? Yeah, the zipper seems grotesque oh. and just the whole bot, I don't know. Ethics aside, who actually wants this as a purse? Yeah, it's $50. It's a huge no from me. I am so out on this product. <laughs> oh, gosh. I bet I know somebody who'd love this guy. Oh, Francis. Francis, a friend? <gasps> That's the Bufo frog, Francis. Bufo? Why friend no talk? Friend sleeping. Why friend sleep forever? Everything oh. in nature has a time to go. And then sometimes when it's its time, it gets made into a coin purse. Good seeing you, Francis. Good to see you, goodbye. Would you guys love to be able to just sit wherever you are? Oh yeah. This next product decided to solve that problem in probably the dumbest way possible. Whoa, I like how it connects to your feet. Oh, look at that. Oh. There's another video, guys. The doctor's got the one? The doctor's wearing one while he does surgery. If my surgeon walked in wearing these things. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, do you want to put them on, Eric? I can yeah, help you. Do. You want these kind of where your butt is. So then these go around each thigh. Heel goes back there. I had like a traumatic injury and you guys are like helping me dress every morning. Eric. I'm in. You're in. You're ready to walk? I'm ready to run. Take a lap. This is how Forrest Gump felt. <laughs> <laughs> Does that comfortable? It looks like you're in a pretty low squat. Well, it's, it's not bad. You kind of look like a bad Iron Man or something. <laughs> Why am I bad? Well, like an Aldi you Iron Man. You know my inner heart? It's a huge no. Everyone in the audience, you know why. Your inner BS meter goes off and you're like, this is dumb, I would never use this. I don't know if this next product is offensive of any, in any way. <laughs> Choose your I, words carefully here. No, uh, yeah, I, I think <laughs> kind of anything goes with Santa, but maybe this is too far. Whoa! Oh, it's working, Santa! Oh my guy, Santa! <laughs> so... Oh, he's so fluffy. Look at these dumps. Man, I wish I could move my hips like that. Oh, oh. yeah. It's a cover. That's not Sir Mix-a-Lot. But why isn't it Christmas themed? They oh. covered Baby Got Back, but they didn't make it a Christmas song? Right, there's no- Change the lyrics? <laughs> what part of the Christmas spirit is this <laughs> amplifying? It just seems inappropriate. I don't find it offensive. Now a twerking Jesus. Now we're getting some angry comments. Maybe uh, Christmas 2024, we got ourselves a hit product. Thanks, Santa. I adore this next product, but I don't think it's gonna last. I just think it's gonna break on you after a few days. Dang. These are basically fidget AirPods. The case for your AirPods is a oh, fidget spinner. The... Look. Oh. Okay, boom. Oh, that's fine. Boom, your AirPods. Wait, are those AirPods? I wouldn't say they're like AirPod oh. AirPods. <laughs> they're a little shorter. Like regular AirPods fit in there then, or you have to use theirs? No, this oh. won't hold. Yeah, it's not a case for your Dang. Air. Yeah, I know. You know what would be really, 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 really cool, Jamie? If this had like regenerative oh, charging. While you spin it? While you spin it, it charges. It charged like it up? Like an electric car. Do these now, work? The air yeah, actually, the audio sounded pretty good. You can tap to 
start and pause your music. So, I mean, it's $18. I like the idea. I wish there was a legit version. Even though it's only $18 and I kind of like it, I'm out. It just seems like it's not gonna last very long. I don't know why they made this next product. No one needs this. Tell we'll me. be the you guys, humorous you. judges of that. A look at the Crap Strap by Air Boss. Deep pockets to store toilet paper and other toiletries. Easy to clip around any suitable tree. Strap that around oh. a telephone pole. I'm intrigued. Oh, this comes in hunter orange. This is a crap strap. It's to aid you in going number two when there's no bathrooms around. I assume that most people aren't so lazy. You can't just squat for a minute. We saw Sort of need to test it, and since we don't have a tree here, Ben could strap in right. and you be his tree. I feel like this is less comfortable than actually uh, squatting. Try to go. <laughs> Try. Is that terrible? If I were just to like squat. This is more comfortable. Here's my concern with this, Jamie. If you got crap on your crap strap. I was just thinking that. Well, you're out in nature. This is around you, and you're 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 yeah. back there working. If you got enough money, fifty dollars. Fifty yeah. dollars to poop. I'm gonna say no. That's no go on the crap strap. This next product is again for me a classic solution in search of a problem. Why do you need three different strike plates? It looks hard to use. It looks like it would hurt your hand. Yeah. This is the hammer fist, it's dumb. I'm gonna punch this nail in. <sighs> Look, I, I don't mean to get all physics on everyone. There's a reason why a hammer is designed the way it is. For leverage, right? You've got this long lever here so that when you go to hit something, it, you're amplifying your force. That isn't amplifying your force at all. Well, let's test it out. We got a hammer and a nail. Ready, set, carpenterize. Oh, 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 no. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Man, did it hurt your hand to use it? No, but it also didn't work. It's got a nail puller. I know, that's what I'm trying to use. All right, come on. Here, here. <laughs> Watch with this hammer. Oh, no, I got it! it I'm using my fist like a real man! It's like twice as much as a normal hammer on Amazon, and it doesn't work very well. So, other than that, it's great. I have a feeling everyone in this room and on YouTube is gonna love this product. You're gonna say, it's so cute. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh, I have to have it. You're all wrong. So, I have my cute little cap. I think it's fun. My mom is like, oh, let me show you mine. She has a Stanley on her Stanley. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's a Stanley straw cap cover that looks like a Stanley. <laughs> so cute. You know, you put this cute little thing on here. Oh my gosh. Put this cute little thing on, you just said it's cute. Yeah, that's the whole deal. Get the other one that is the color of this. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I hate, I, yeah. Oh. Come on guys! Oh shoot. It is cute. It is oh, cute. Shoot. I was all prepared to hate this. Oh dang. And now, gentlemen, this is a Stanley. This, this is Stanley. This is the brand. I don't know what this, what they've done to themselves. They've debased themselves. People at Stanley, remember where you came from. I was gonna back you up on this, but it's, it's too cute. That's it. I don't like it. This next product combines candy and music. How could you go wrong? I'm about to show you. These are the uh, Emma Sweets audio lollipops. You put them in your mouth and then they can play a song in your Wait, mouth. What? But only you can hear. This is like the lollipop speaker. It's flavored. You throw it in your mouth and you like bite down on it and you like hear it. Oh, it's like, like bone, 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 bone conduction, conduction that comes with Earplugs. So you drown out like ambient noise? I guess so. It's playing uh, happy birthday to you. I can like hear it. All right, here I go. You ready? Throw it in. This is gonna blow my eardrums out. I'm kind of scared. Really? Look at that. His eyes lit up. When you put your teeth on it is when you hear it. Really? It's not good quality, but it's there. The sucker itself, terrible. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's like they made water into a sucker, but the music. Surprising! Dude, it's pretty wild. If the lollipop was good, I would say this has potential. You look what? sad. I'm disappointed in this product oh. because it's candy, <gasps> it's cotton candy, <gasps> and the flavor sent it in. 
is hot tamales. Oh, oh I am yeah. in. I am all the way in. Oh my god, I love hot tamales. Heck yes. I hate to be the guy to disappoint you. I, I just I, I hate to be that guy. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Anthrax just came out of there. <laughs> it's like you opened a tomb. It's possible the one I oh, tasted was a bad batch. Was a bad batch because this one might be better. Let's find out. Oh, nope, it's the same. It starts out so weird. It's, it's a little bit of like a fart in your mouth. Yes, and then it ne never really gets very hot tamale. But then it, it does kind of come through cinnamon in the finish. It's cinnamon for sure after that. It's a huge miss, and I love hot tamales. This is like AI trying to make hot tamale cotton candy having never actually had hot tamales. <laughs> the pre-finish has some cinnamon, but then I get fart again. I'm bookended by fart. They spent all their money on the license, but not on the actual product development. All right, let's get these out of here. This next product is really cool. I just think it's like too expensive for what it is. This is a one six scale replica of a uh, Coke vending whoa. machine. Whoa. It actually works. What? Yeah, it like it's lights up. The little big Cokes I can drink. It dispenses a normal size can of What? No, I can't. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. You can put real cans of Coke in there, but it dispenses these itty bitty Coke cans oh, that you store up up there somehow. You gotta plug this guy in because this is like a functioning mini fridge. <gasps> you can stack two and kind of keep them chilled. So it also comes with like this pair of tweezers. It comes with, this will be <laughs> so hard to see, but Whoa. it's tiny little quarters. Everything's one sixth scale. So it's one sixth the size of a quarter. It comes with this so you can put it in, all right? That's so ridiculous. I gotta put in one. Okay, I got, I got two. So, and you also kind of need the tweezers to get the <laughs> to get the coke. This thing's $160. Dang. Yeah. I think it's really cool, but for what it is, I just think it's too expensive. I mean, $160, I'm not spending that money on this thing. There's no adequate introduction for this product. I think we just have to look at it. We've got mythical meats, Bigfoot. Good season. These are just like really quality, nice meat sticks. These are the humanoid meat sticks from Mythical Meats. The idea here is you've got this pack of 10, like Slim Jims basically, that are supposed to be like funny characters like Yeti, Elf, Centaur, Gremlin, Bigfoot, Leprechaun, Werewolf. It's not actually made out of like oh, Elf it's not. or Bigfoot, no. Oh. You've got some exotic meats in here, like alpaca, venison, yak, elk, camel. But then you've just got some, some, some normies here like pork, yeah. turkey, chicken. Oh wait, I, well, I don't get to pick? You can pick whatever you want. I was just handing them out. Elf seems mean. I'm gonna have the mermaid. Minotaur. I'm going leprechaun. That's very good. I'm eating a leprechaun. This guy didn't tell me where his pot of gold was, so I devoured his flesh. My thinking is, how much comedy do I need in my snack foods? I don't know if I want this level of whimsy in my snacks. I just go ahead and stamp this guy with a hates whimsy. This next product was making the rounds. Everyone thought it was so funny. I think it's just stupid. This is the pastry mask. <laughs> okay, it's supposed to be a pastry. Put it on. No, let Eric put it on. It's weird. You wanna eat a Danish. Dude, I'm sorry. It, it looks like you're disfigured. If you didn't tell me it was a pastry, I wouldn't have gotten it. Look, I have a confession to make. Confess your sins to the Danish. This is my sneaky way of getting our exclusive mask product into this episode. You guys know about the Blurry Man? Yeah. This is a mask that we invented here at Fat19. Ah, oh, it's weird every time. The original Blurry Man mask, exclusive to Fat19, we invented this. I think you look really good <laughs> when you're like right next to like other people. You're like in the background. Yeah, or just like, why is one of them out of focus? Let's do Blurry Man and Pastry Man. That's a no, and that's a big yes. This is the redemption round. Eric and I have looked all over the internet and we found a product that we firmly believe you need to add to Fat19. I'm seeing cookies Dunk. and milk. Go ahead, Jamie, get that out big yes. dog. Get it hey, in cut. there, dude. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, eat Whoa. that, eat that. What are you? Go ahead, no, go ahead and eat. Wait, you, you told me to do it. Oh my gosh. 
I guess drink the milk now. Oh, he's not actually. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> Let's do that again. What? With elegance and technology. Check this out, Jamie. <laughs> the dunking buddy. Oh. Straight to the top. Let's get some tasty milk what? in here. Did that just change colors, Ben? Whoa! I've seen cups that do that. How are we gonna get that in here? What? What? The power of a magnet? magnet? Let's try this yeah. again. Grab one of those soft cookies. Well, it looks like I could fit a couple in there. What? Sure, why not? Do now a quick ahead. dunk without getting those grubby fingers in there. Oh! Whoa! Bring him back up. Oh, Perfect. Oh, yeah. And is it good? And then if it's good, oh, the product is good. How much is this? $15. $15. I'm just trying to understand how this is different. I guess when the milk is getting low, it could be harder to get in there. This doesn't happen often, but I'm not sure. When this happens in real life at Fat 19, I'll go like, ask some kids, I'll ask some other people what they think. So I think what we should do today, basically, is ask the commenters, should we sell Drinking Buddy or not? Dunking hey. Buddy. Dunking buddy. <laughs> what did I call it? What did I call it? Drinking Buddy. Yes or no, should we sell Dunking Buddy? Check out all this cool fan art. Send yours to rejects at vat19.com and maybe shop at Vat19. That'd be a good thing. Yeah, try it out. For the Dunking Buddy. Bye. Bad 19. Dot com.